so guys now to get this take any circular object and place it on your leather then after which get a half inch foam and stick them together with your glue now to create the pattern what you're gonna do is get the center mark of your leather as you can see me doing in the video now you're gonna mark it out and you rule like so after which you're not going to create the pattern so now this now depends solely on you you can decide to create any pattern of your choice but for me this is what i'll be making use of so now i'll be marking one inch like so all the way to the top and i'm gonna repeat the same for the other um side of the leather for me to create this pattern Next, after you must have sewn it and attach a lining to it, what we are going to do next is you're going to get the circumference of your bag. Then, whatever measurements you get there, you're going to divide it by two, which will serve as the top side and the base side. The top side will be for the zip, while the base will be the bottom. So you're gonna divide it by two so depending on how you want it to be if you want the zip side to be shorter or longer than the base side so i did mine the base short the base longer than the um zip side so i my total measurement for the cycle fence is 25 so i cut out 16 inches for the bottom by three inches with my allowance so i'm making use of 15 inches with allowance of one inch then for the zip side, you'll be needing two pieces of it. I cut that 10 and a half inches, which is I left half inch for my um, allowance. Then by five inches. So don't worry about this. We'll be trimming this up out after we must have cut out soon our leather. So this is how it's going to be now. So now we're going to go back to the machine and we're going to create our pattern on our leather. So after sewing on the lines, you're gonna sew our lining now to our bag like so. Then you're gonna trim off the excess.
so as you can see i've sewn the bottom side of the bag i join it to the lining and sewn together so we're gonna repeat the same process for this so now this is the zip side so what you're gonna do is place your um, leather the right side then your zip the right side facing down like so then you're lining the right side facing down so then you're gonna sew it together that means the right side of our um, leather on the right side of our lining are touching each other while the zip is in between them facing down it's okay so now you're gonna sew it all the way down and you're gonna turn it out you're gonna turn it to top stitch
so once that is done you're gonna take the bottom piece and notch the midpoint then you're gonna place it like so and your mark like so do the same for the other end like so then you connect the lines together and you trim it off so now as you can see it is three inches so you now connect the lines like so do the same for the other side and you cut it out then after you've cut it out you're gonna sew it round the same way we did for the bottom piece So make sure your zip head is placed pro properly before you sew the ends together. Make sure it is placed properly before sewing the ends together. So after you must have finished sewing the ends, we're going to trim off all excess. Then join our base to the back, to the upper side. Yes, get a piece of leather at about three by three inches or any of any length of your choice then you fold it in and place your d-ring in it this will serve as our d-ring order so you can use any measurement of your choice it's optional so after it must have so neat you're gonna place your d-ring like so then place it in between the piece in between the um, the bag like so then you're gonna sew your allowance that you left remember we left allowance so you're gonna sew that allowance now so that's how we're gonna do it so you're gonna do that for both ends for both sides for neat finishing after you must have sewn it you're gonna top stitch the front parts so that it come out nice it look nice so you just top stitch like so then you trim off any excess you might you must have so now we're gonna get the mid point because we'll be joining this to our main bag so you just place it like so and notch all four sides of the bag much of four sides of the bag like so you're gonna repeat the same thing at the um the round um panel we did 
the front and the back we're gonna repeat the same thing then we're gonna place the notched areas together and we're gonna sew it round so as you can see you just place it like so fold it like so rather and you notch then make sure all notched areas are touching each other while you sew otherwise your bag is gonna come out of shape so now as you can see i'm placing the notched areas together so you can decide to use your clip together so that it will be easy for you to sew all through so you just clip all ends all sides together so you can see now the notched areas are together so we are in We are accurate so now we're gonna continue like so then we're gonna sew it so you must if you must if um after you must have done this and you can see that the bag the the, the sides are larger than the um, the round panel you can adjust this if you can if you see that it is shorter you can still adjust that's why we left allowance while we are sewing the side so make sure you clip it for you to know that yes it is accurate i hope you understand what i'm saying make sure you clip it for you to know it's accurate so now after you must have pinned all through and see that there are no excesses remaining you can go ahead and sew the sides together So after finish sewing the uh, front side, after finish sewing one part, you're gonna move to the next part of the bag. You're gonna repeat the same process. Place all notched areas together. You clip it in and see that it is fitted. Then you can go ahead and you sew. Like I said, if it is not sitting properly, you can make your adjustments at the side of at the joining where we joined the bottom and the zip so you can make your adjustment there so if you feel if you see that after you must have clipped it in and you saw that it's a bit shorter or there's an excess there you can go and adjust it at that side there but if you see that it fits it, it fits properly it sits properly you can go ahead and you sew it go ahead and sew so after you must have sewn all through what i'm going to do now you can decide to leave your bag like this or you're gonna tip it round for neat finishing so for me i did i taped it round with my loop with my black um um belts i taped it round so you can decide to leave yours like this or you take it as I did, like I did right there.
so you can see now i am taping the inside of the bag for neat finishing so this is absolutely optional if you want to leave yours like that you can decide to do that but if you want to cover the sewn area you can go ahead with this tape so just get your loop get your belt and you tip it round carefully gradually till you get to the starting point to where you started and you backstitch you close it up So guys, we are done so taping the bag inside. What we're gonna do now, we'll be making our strap. So you get a leather of three by three and a half inches. Then you're gonna fold it like so, and you're going to sew. So this is what you're gonna get after you must have sewn it. Then take your belt, fold it like that, and you're gonna cut it out. So I measure about two inches. So you can set the cut yours at about two inches or one and a half inches, like so. Then you fold it and you cut it out in a triangle form. like so then now we're going to sew that part together as in the part we cut out on our strap we're going to sew it so what i'm doing here is i'm trying to check um, um, how it's going to sit is going to sit so, so you can see i when i did that there was a it was a little bit longer than the leather i cut out so that's why i trimmed it out so next what we're going to do now you're going to fold it like so and you're going to sew the part the area we cut out like so Then we're gonna place it on the leather. Then we're gonna sew, and that is that for the ends.
the next take your divider your adjuster and you place it in your bag in your strap rather as you see me doing so just it's the process is the step is very easy so just watch carefully i'm gonna do it and you do the same thing it says it's very easy to so just carefully watch the procedure and you do it the same way So guys, so this is the end of the tutorial. After must have finished sewing the strap, then you can now fix it to your bag. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm expecting to see your practical soon. So guys, thank you very much and God bless you. Bye.